today with Jamboree Style. I'm going to show you guys how to make a tassel backdrop. It's actually super simple. The few things that you're going to need are the tassels, which you can purchase from our store. They'll come like this. Some string. Um, I use clear fishing line. Uh, tape measure. Tape measure. Or tape, either one. Um, probably tape measure is going to work better. Some scissors and either tape or tacks. So how you start is just figuring out how big you want your backdrop. Mine is five feet wide by six feet tall. So what I did is I went ahead and um, measured out the five feet wide with tape because I'm on a backdrop. You guys will probably be doing this in between two walls or on a wall. So you're not gonna need the tape like this. Um, but I am gonna use little pieces of black tape to tape my string. Again, you guys are probably gonna want to use tacks. I just can't tack it to the fabric. So if you do the same exact thing I'm doing just with tacks, if you're on a wall um, or in between two walls, that'll work great. You can use tape if you can cover it up somehow. Um, I used the um, this black duct tape. It's like the Gorilla Tape. It's amazing. It sticks super well. It might take stuff off your walls though just kind of depends on your application. So what I do to start is I want to start 10 inches from my ceiling. So what I'm going to do is um, measure down 10 inches from my ceiling on each side. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to mark 10. And then I'm going to do the, that'll be my first, that'll be my first row. So um, my string will go from here to here and go across. Uh, I want them to be six inches apart. That's just what I think looks good. You can do them further apart if you want to use less tassels or closer together, and it'll just create more of a full look or vice versa. So I'm just going to go ahead and measure down six inches on each side and continue following that. So I'm going to do that. Other thing is, um, so I'm clearly doing this on tape. You're not going to mark up your walls. So um, if you want to, you just be putting your tacks in. As I'm marking it, you'd be pushing a thumbtack in. Okay, so once you have it marked on each side, um, you're just going to take your tape, but you should have tacks probably in the wall. You'll take your string. So for me, um, I will take my string and just leave a little bit hanging. I have like, it's going to be hard for you guys to see, but like a couple inches just in case it um, slides through. Oops. I'm going to just take my tape, my tape on top of it, and then line up my string with the line I just marked. So for you guys, you can wrap your string around your thumbtack and go to the other side, take a piece of tape, pull it tight, make sure it's on your line and straight, mark it. And then you can either cut your string or you can just loop it down to the next one and then cut them all at the end. So once again, put your tape on, line it up with your line. You could use a backdrop. So if you have like a frame backdrop, just don't put the backdrop on it and use the frame to tie, tie your strings too. That's another thing you guys could do if you have one. Okay, so Next thing you have to do is just get your tassels ready. So if you bought tassels from us, they will come like this. And so all you're going to have to do is open up the package. There's probably a little white string in there. Go ahead and throw that away. The instructions, throw them away because we're actually not assembling them. So the package will start in here. So then they come like this. There's five of them stacked together. So you're just going to want to find your center. We're going to want to separate all of them. So find your center. So what I do is just kind of put my arm through it and then pull the tassels apart. So just grab them and pull them. And then we want to separate them all into individuals. So find one. I just kind of shake it. That way they don't tear. Okay, so all my tassels have been separated into singles. Um, I have them all laid out on the table. I have more than I need here. So the backdrop we're making today is six feet uh, tall by five feet wide, and it takes about 66 tassels to complete. So it'll be um, 
six across. Um, so All you have to do really is basically you're going to take them and drape them over the string. You are going to want to start at the bottom though, not at the top, just for how the tassels lay. Um, it's just a, a little trick that'll make it easier for you guys. I am doing it randomly. I find doing it in a pattern is actually almost harder. Just making sure your colors are spaced out evenly, both vertically and horizontally. Um, so I'm just gonna start here with burgundy on the bottom. Um, you guys aren't gonna see me down here, but um, I will start down here and work my way up. Once I get up a little bit higher where you guys can see me, I'll kind of show you what I'm doing. the first five rows already but I'm to the point where you guys can see what I'm doing so all I do is take the first tassel they're already separated for us I kind of do the same thing where I put my arm down the center and then I just grab them and drape them over the string and then it should just hang where the crease is so when I'm picking out my colors to do next I just kind of watch my lines I know you guys can't see but I watch to make sure I'm not repeating any color like right above or right next to um, and just try to spread amongst um, amongst the things because you really want rose gold like you know spread everywhere not just in one straight line so just be sporadic pay attention to what's next to it what's on top of it and just kind of keep keep going down the rows here so one thing I'll say is sometimes they get ripped or like some tassels get torn off or they're folded. I wouldn't worry about that for this project. It's, it really um, doesn't matter when it's all put together. You won't even notice anything is wrong. Okay, so once you get to the end of your line, all you're going to want to do is you're going to pull all the back tassels forward. So you just, and this is why you want to start with the bottom too and work your way up. So you just go through. I just kind of put my hand behind them and pull them forward. If there's any like, this is folded. You fix that. They're on top of each other. Go ahead and spread them out. Even if there's gaps, honestly, you won't you won't notice as long as you don't like line up your gaps. So, um, and then you just keep, keep moving your way up to the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish for you guys and I'll be back with you in a few minutes. The only thing I like to do at the end is just kind of go through and get rid of anything that's wavy or curly or not straight just because I'm a little OCD. Um, so I just kind of go through with my fingers and use it like a comb. And there we go. It's done. It's super easy, super forgiving. Um, you know, I think anyone can do it even if you're not a crafter. I know that it is easier if you have two people Two people can be taping one on each side and um, they each can be working on a row. So it'll make it obviously go faster, but you can totally do it by yourself. I did the whole thing by myself. Um, if you'd like to purchase this kit, this is our sh uh, Pretty in Pink uh, tassel garland kit. So you can purchase the tassels. I'll link them below on our website. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was help. Uh, check us out, jamboreestyle.com. Mm -hmm.